What's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, today I just have a quick update video on the Silverado, um, what's been going on with it, uh, what it's not doing and what I would like it to do. Um, so we actually ended up doing like our third set of injectors and then we did some harness action. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, what we're at right now and then uh, I'll pick back up. All right guys, here we are at the tailgate slash outdoor workbench. So we've got the 8.1 injectors right here. Uh, the new ones that we tried, turns out these are actually marine injectors as well. So that's cool. Just be careful and make sure you buy from a reputable place. I tried to get these off Amazon and it didn't work. And just make sure you guys get AC Delco or like a reputable brand. Um, here we are with the new ones. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get it to focus. All right, here's a little better angle right here. So these actually have four holes right there. Uh, so they'll get much better atomization. Uh, maybe a little better fuel mileage. I'm not really worried about that. But yeah, these should be a lot easier to tune. Before I forget, I also wanted to make sure and let you guys know I got these from Rock Auto. They're actually AC Delcos. Uh, they're having like a some kind of sale on them. I got them for like 20 bucks each. So go ahead and check those out. And then if you guys notice, the pin layout is much different than the stock ones. So you will need these adapters right here. I got these adapters from Racetronics. Um, I'll put all the links in the description below so you guys can go check them out. But you will need these adapters uh, to make these injectors work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these loaded up in the fuel rails, uh, get everything situated in the truck, and we can go from there. Here we are a few days later, uh, the tuner uh, got in, he got it all tuned up, was running pretty good, and then we lost power completely to the driver's side. Um, just a full on dead miss. Uh, I went over, cause it was, it was just running like garbage. Um, I tested this side and it was temping out, at, I used the temp gun and it was temping out at about like 250 or so, 270, and this side was literally like 50 degrees to 70 degrees. So we figured it's gotta be an electric issue. Uh, there's something electrical going on. Um, the coil packs are brand new, all of that, spark plug, spark plug wires. So I went ahead and uh, Michigan Motorsports is where I got them, but I got all new harness. I got passenger side, uh, driver side, either one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed real quick and then we can go ahead and see if it'll start. Um, he's got it tuned to where it should just run if these work, so hopefully. Thought I'd get you guys a quick comparison. Here's the old crusty one uh, and then here's the new nice one. So I'm hoping this works. All right, let's see if we have any luck. Yay, car stuff. So yeah, um, that's where we're at right now with the Silverado. Um, I've been trying so hard to get this thing running for you guys, not only for you guys, but myself as well. But uh, I'll go ahead and go over real quick. We have zero power on the driver's side to the coil packs at all. Um, like I said, I temp checked them. Uh, that temp much harder, hotter than this side. This side wasn't even warm at all. Um, I've checked all the fuses. I've checked all the grounding spots. Everything's fine. The only thing I can think of at this point is remove this box and go ahead and see if there's uh, like a bad ground cable, if something's arcing, I don't know. This is like my last ditch effort. So if any of you guys have had any experience with this or seen this movie at all, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Uh, send me a message on Instagram. Because, uh, yeah, I'd really like to know. We need to get this thing going. Um, like I've said before, we still got to get it on the dyno. I know COVID hit. Um, so looks like it should be open this year. So we just need to get this thing going so we can get it on the dyno. And then things are going to get crazy. Because I went ahead and picked up a new toy, let's go ahead and... Uh, Not gonna show you guys just yet, but uh, <laughs> we got a new daily. So that's gonna be fun. I'm pretty sure you guys have a decent idea on what it is, but uh, that means once this thing gets going, once Pigpen gets going, we can get crazy with this thing. Um, Cause I no longer have to worry about taking it to work and it being reliable. Cause we all know that it's not the most reliable vehicle right now. 
Um, now, nothing against Chevy, all that. I blame it on the original owner um, entirely. Uh, all right, enough of that. Um, but I do wish I had more footage for you guys. Uh, I just, I really thought that we were just gonna throw the injectors in, throw the harness on, and then uh, we could go do some burnouts, but it's not the case. Um, yay, car stuff. But uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging in there. Hope you guys have a great night.